self-defense training class, you'll discover five ways and train five ways to stop someone with your walking cane for self-defense. Number one is going to be a thrust. Starting with your hand here on the shaft, just below the crook a little bit, you're going to have whichever hand is, is in front. So this is my right hand. You're going to have that hand between you and the threat, which puts the cane between you and the threat, and you're simply going to push going straight through their midline, right through the middle of their body. Think of hitting eyes, nose, throat. You're gonna target the soft spots that you can do the most damage with for self-defense using the hard part of your cane. So from here, your whole body weight is behind the cane, you're behind your cane, and you're gonna simply thrust. So the five ways to stop someone, the very first one is the thrust, either going in through the nose or through their eyes, into the throat, into the solar plexus, down into this part here between the belly button and the private parts. There's that thin muscle fascia. You're just gonna thrust straight forward. You wanna stop their advance. The second of the five ways to stop someone with your walking cane for self-defense is gonna be a shove. So you're gonna bring this here, you pull this into your body, and you're simply gonna blast them as hard as you can with this hard piece of wood. Now this is the Cane Master's training cane. My other cane, the one that you saw in the picture, that has a nice nasty bar right there. It looks like a dull blade. You put that into the face, you're gonna knock the teeth out, smash them back. It's definitely gonna stop someone, put it in through their throat. That's permanent stop, this is self-defense. These are the five ways to stop someone with your walking cane. Number one is a thrust, number two is a shove, Number three is going to be a jab. You're gonna turn it around so that the crook is now facing away from you. And it doesn't matter if it's going this way or this way. Either way is gonna be fine. I personally like this way because it puts the, the tip out there. I'm gonna show you how. This is gonna be one of the strikes. We're gonna use that tip later. But from here, a simple jab as if you were a boxer throwing a boxing jab into his face or into the solar plexus or down into the groin. But you're gonna throw simply straight in. Uh, that shortest distance between the two points is a straight line. You wanna stop the fight as fast as possible. You're gonna accomplish that with the third of the five ways to stop someone with your walking cane for self-defense, which is a thrusting motion with the front hand with this part here. We call that a jab. Now, the next one is gonna be a slash. We're going back so that the long side is facing the threat. I'm gonna bring it from my shoulder in to the side of the head or into the neck, into the shoulder, into the arm, into the hand that's trying to grab me or punch me, stab me. I'm gonna to try to do maximum damage with the length of my cane across their body somewhere, anywhere I can hit. Again, my question that I wanna ask myself when I do self-defense is what can I remove or destroy? Their ability to see, think, be awake, ability to hear the blood rushing through the brain, remove that, remove that joint, remove that arm, don't let them hit you with it. So anything you can take away from them using your cane is effective self-defense. So that's number four of the five ways to stop somebody with your walking cane for self-defense and the fifth of the five ways to stop somebody from touching you, grabbing you, hurting you, to stop someone for self-defense using your walking cane is going to be the rake. I saved the nastiest, dirtiest, toughest one for last. That big tooth there, especially one of these Cane Masters canes. This is in oak. You can get it in hickory. The links are below if you want to see what they look like. But that tooth right there, raking in across the face, pulling out the eye, ripping off the nose, all for self-defense, removing teeth from their face, from their mouth, in through the neck, raking in just mangling all of that stuff up in there across the body. It's very effective. And you can do the rake with one hand or it's even more powerful if you reach out and snatch back with two hands. Maybe you're sitting in a wheelchair or you're um, sitting waiting for a bus and you're in a seat and they come in fast and you just have time to get it up and swing with that slashing strike, follow it with the rake. You're going to stop and attack with this raking motion. That's number five. So once again, the five ways to stop someone with your walking cane for self-defense. Number one is a thrust, and I'm gonna slow them down. We're gonna hit the slow-mo button, and it just looks like my weight's on it. I pop it up, put it between me and the threat, and I simply push. My arm goes straight, 
And when you step in and move your body, it becomes an even more powerful strike. Number two of the five ways to stop someone with your walking cane for self-defense is the shoving motion. I have my hands here. I bring it up. This is great if their hands are on me. I bring it over two hands, pull it in, and thrust. Elbow straight. And again, if you add that stepping motion in, you're going to really push them back. So it comes up, over, and through. The third way is going to be a jab. The th third of the five ways to stop someone with your walking cane for self-defense, it's in this position. Maybe you have the crook facing out. You slide it up. It's as simple as that. Try to do that in slow motion. And then direct line straight into their face. And again, like the other ones, when you step into it, you're going to hit them so much faster. The fourth way is that slashing motion starting here. The five ways to stop someone with your walking cane for self-defense. Number four, starting in this position, bring it to your shoulder. If you don't have time, you don't have to bring it to your shoulder. Just immediately slash down. Think about temple, eyes, ear. So from here, the threat's coming in. Hit the slow-mo button, comes up slides down a little and straight through you can bring it back to the other side you can bring that through the middle horizontally straight down on top of his head for self-defense and the last way the fifth way of the five ways to stop yourself or stop somebody with your walking cane for self-defense is the rake now i have the crook facing out and again you can have the crook facing in and you bring it up and you're this position and you just switch hands. However you get there is fine. You can bring it up here, put the other hand on it. Reach through and pull back, pull down, pull across, pull up. Maybe you're up between the legs. All of it is very effective when you use that raking motion for self-defense. Now I wanna say hello to everybody who's here. Thank you so much. I wasn't able to see your comments today. I'm practicing trying to get these down to a shorter period of time. We're gonna do some long form workouts together and I wanna throw up some short ones for those of you who are getting really busy again. It's great, people are going back to work, people are getting out of the house, the sun is shining, the masks are coming off, we don't have as much time to train together. So I wanted to make some short ones, that was this one today. You guys were great. If you wanna see what these are in the uh, link below, click that link and see what it costs, see what a Cane Master Cane is all about. I'll see you guys in a little bit, thank you.